what's up y'all it's your girl t welcome or welcome back to the channel today is sunday july 14th we just got out of sunday service i don't really have a lot happening today i do want to slide into walmart really quickly pick up a couple of things and um later today i do have a study group with a couple of the girls from my medical assistant class so it'll be three of us i may or may not bring you all along for that but we will see try this but since I'm in Walmart and it's like a dollar 26 I'm just gonna get this little jar I really want to try the Tia Maori brand but I don't know okay y'all now that we are out of Walmart we're gonna do a quick car haul I only got a few items um, I picked up a small thing of TP because I only have one roll left but it's not time for me to do like my big shopping I just picked up some angel soft I've been wanting to try this gel so I picked it up I picked up some vegan crackers for um, I made a, I made a simple salad yesterday um, anyways I picked up some crackers to eat with that salad they are pita pita crackers veggie flour yeah so this is corn free grain free it's a paleo friendly vegan cracker I've tried this brand before it's pretty good but it's also pretty pricey I just wanted to get another pair of like slides or flip-flops to like wear to the beach or just like throw on to go outside pick these up they're pretty comfortable I needed some more around the house shoes so I always get these little cheap five six dollar um, slip on house shoes they are comfortable and I spent a whopping fifty three dollars and eight cents I'm gonna um, we're gonna head back home I'm gonna grab a bite to eat it is currently 1 13 and um, our study group is meeting at 3 45 um, and hopefully we can get started by four o'clock maybe spend a couple hours we're just gonna go to a, a Starbucks where we can all like kind of meet in a halfway point but honestly we're not that far apart from one another um, two of the ladies they live in the same city but I don't know if they live on opposite sides it'll take me about mm, it usually takes me about 12 to 15 minutes to get to that Starbucks which isn't bad it's only about like nine miles it's not very far and they're in that city but I don't know how close they are to that Starbucks but anyway I said all that to say we're heading home grab a bite to eat and also yesterday my eyelids started bothering me again as if I'm having another allergic reaction to something I'm having some type of contact dermatitis that it was going away had simmered down really good and then yesterday my eyes were on fire all day while I was at work came home washed my face cleansed them this morning I did put some ice on them like some cooling mass um, they're still a bit puffy um, so I'm gonna try to come in so you guys can see I don't know if you'll actually be able to tell but like underneath my eyes are really really um, itchy and they're really they're, they're real puffy I love to say really 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 um, but they are extremely puffy they are they are inflamed and irritated so I don't know if you guys can tell but that's what's happening uh, I may need to go back to the dermatologist again for these eyes there's not really much honestly they can do as long as it's not affecting my eyesight it's not but we'll see I'm just really praying that it clears up because this is extremely un 
comfortable and I want to believe it's because of the weather that's my that's, that's the only thing I can really think of I take my allergy meds regularly consistently yeah I don't know so anyway I'm gonna stop rambling we're gonna get out of here and head home I started rambling about my um, eyes I completely forgot I also picked up another thing of deodorant you guys know this is the one that I wear all the time it seems to be the one that really works for me so anyway with that being said now we're actually gonna head home <laughs> morning y'all today is monday july 15th i'm getting ready to unbag this nespresso machine that um one of my classmates gave me she said that they don't use it um she said maybe once or twice so yesterday during our study session um she actually lived right around the corner from that starbucks so um she just went home and picked it up and um, brought it to me so i'm gonna clean it up and make a <clears throat> excuse me make a coffee with it this morning so this is the water reservoir the cup adjuster and then the actual nespresso machine this one is i'll show the model number on the bottom i had to look it up for the manual but hopefully you guys can see that so I'm excited to try this. I've actually been wanting to purchase one. It was on my list for a purchase this year. I won't tell you what the time frame was on that. And then this is the pod. This is where the pod, the pods drop off at, I think. Like you don't remove them like a Keurig. Like when you lift it up, it drops the pod in this. So I'm gonna clean this up really quickly. What I was saying was, I had this on my list of items to purchase this year, but at a certain time, for a certain reason, you may figure it out by me saying that, but I'm glad that it was gifted to me and from someone that I know. So I'm just gonna clean it up really good right now. I'm gonna cycle of water through to clean it out, and then I will show me making the coffee. I won't show you me cleaning it because why unless you want to see it but i don't think you do i don't particularly like those things in videos so i'm just going to clean it up really quickly and go ahead and get my day started <clears throat> excuse me because i do have a doctor uh doctors 
Well, they're still kind of a doctor. I have a dental appointment today at one for a routine cleaning. Hopefully they don't find anything. I don't think they will. Just to catch you up, if you've been following along, I'm having problems in these lower molars, lower molars on my left side. I still have my wisdom teeth on my left side, not on my right side. They don't bother me on the left side. However, pockets are deep back there. So I may have to get some um, antibiotic treatments today. I'm not sure, I'm really hoping not. I'm really hoping my water pick has um, relieved that situation. So anyway, let's move on and get this um, Nespresso uh, machine cleaned up so I can have my coffee, make my breakfast, all the things. My eyes, whew, my eyes, <sighs> kind of disappointed. Um, they're still really, really, uh, and they're puffy. So I put some ointment on, in this, on them this morning. This is not like, a normal wake up face for me this is literally like the contact dermatitis on my eyes and the irritation and i know i've been rubbing them at night honestly i've been catching myself rubbing them in the nighttime because i can feel them itching that's how bad it is the pimple that you guys saw yesterday i have a pimple patch on um hopefully it's not there today when i remove it hopefully it's flushed out whatever you want to call it i just feel like i've been talking about my skin lately i need to keep you guys up to speed on it speaking of my skin the site that i had on my face um is closed up i was supposed to have a phone interview this afternoon but the dermatologist Call me this morning instead um, it's not it wasn't cancerous or anything like that it was just some type of lesion so i'm fine i don't need any type of treatment or anything like that it actually looks normal now however i have a couple of spots um growing and i'm hoping they're just pimples i don't know we will see i'm not bothering them I'm just cleansing my face per usual um, another thing about the face uh, since um, I had that biopsy. I was to clean it with like a mild soap. So I got just a travel size um, Dove Sensitive Skin Bar Soap. And I had been washing my face with that. Listen, I'm going back to the old fashioned way. Forget all these products. I have been washing my face with that Dove Soap for two weeks now. My face is looking the clearest it's looked in quite some time. And when I say quite some time, I just mean like maybe over the course of, I don't know, maybe six to eight months. I think I'm just going to go back to using Sensitive Dove Bar Soap to cleanse my face because I've been using um, Cetaphil and kind of rotating CeraVe. CeraVe is harsh on my skin, so I really use Cetaphil for the most part. I do like the Murad BHA, AHB, whatever it is, exfoliating cleanser. I do like that, so I am going to continue to use that for my exfoliant. But um, I think for my regular everyday face wash, I'm just going to use the Sensitive Skin Dove Bar Soap said all that to say that's what is happening with my skin and my face if you're looking at me because i'm looking crazy with my eyes a little glazy looking like donuts <laughs> that's why i put ointment on them this morning so i don't itch them or rub them because truth be told they're still i can feel it still it's irritated so anyway they're really inflamed swollen puffy all the things so anyway let me get over that let's get the day going it's 9 42 i'm gonna clean this machine up really quickly as i said already and get the coffee made make some breakfast and we're gonna get our day going Y'all see that water from the coffee inside the machine. So I'm glad I gave it a good clean. Now we're gonna make our coffee. we brewed our first coffee here she is i don't remember which one she is but i'm gonna taste her before i put my creamer and stuff in it but i'm excited um next time i'm gonna try a, uh, an espresso shot but not today she smells good it's 
good. All right, let's jazz her up. Okay, y'all, now that she's all jazzed up, let's give her a taste. Oh, that's good. That's real good. It's smooth. I can still taste the coffee. Like, the creamer isn't overbearing. Like, ooh, I love this. Even though this was gifted to me, why didn't I buy one sooner, being the coffee lover that I am? All I'm gonna say is get you one. All right, let's have our breakfast. I'll catch up to y'all later. <laughs> What's up, y'all? We made it to the dentist's office. I'm going to get out of the car so I can get indoors. It's 12.57. So I may or may not see you all inside, but I'll see you soon. we are out of the dentist i didn't really get any footage in there because well it's the dentist however i must say i spent a pretty penny today on these teeth you know they did have to put the antibiotics um in my lower molars like the wisdom tooth and the one um in front of it and then also at the top the coins on that i'm grateful I'm so grateful that I can afford to pay for it because the amount of money I just spent for antibiotics to go directly down in my gum lines, girl, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but um, it is cheaper than the previous dentist that I used to go to, I will say that. Um, but it's still... Mm, dental work is a lot of money take care of your teeth anyway um we're done with that my teeth are clean um so we're gonna head to Ulta I want to try to find some buy <laughs> I want to try to find some a lip mask for my lips um I kind of want to buy a mask for like all around my eyes but I'm not sure I think I'm gonna leave my eyes alone I need for them to figure out what's going on with them on their own um, I'll just keep applying the Aquaphor, which is helping. are out of the store so sorry if y'all can hear the noise from the AC I was trying to figure out where I can put y'all at um, but it's kind of hard because I don't have the support 
because the tripod I have at home, I usually keep the support to be able to lift you all up in the car. I really need to get a car mount for you all, but let's see. That's probably about as good as it's going to get. So sorry for the angle. You can't really see me. But you're here for the product. So let's get into this bag. Um, I have an Ulta bag. So I have my Ulta products in it. And then I purchased a few things out of Five Below. I'm going to show you Ulta products first. I got some more um, under eye masks. Can y'all see that? Yeah, so under eye mask, under eye mask. The under eye mask that I normally get, I normally get them out of Target. I normally get the Pacifica brand. And then I got this body spray, so de Janeiro, it's quite popular now, this brand. This one is the caramelized vanilla toasted and macadamia. Tonka bean scent. Vanilla is usually a good scent for me. So I'm hoping this does well with my body chemistry. I just wanted to give it a try. If I like it, I might actually get the perfume. This brand that I don't, I've never heard of is called Fourth Ray. Um, it's a vegan brand. So I got these products for my lip. Um, I got an overnight lip mask. That's what it looks like. And then I also got the lip balm. I'm really hoping these work for my lips because, girl, it's like one day they feel good, the next day they don't. And it, I'm pretty sure it has a lot to do with the weather. So, on to the items that I got from Five Below. I got a eye mask cooling, cooling gel eye mask. Um, so that's that place in the refrigerator for at least one hour or the freezer for at least 30 minutes been decorating my mm, my macbook cover lately um and i think i might add some of these to my ipad cover as well um i got some stickers two different kind they're each, they're each four cards so they're 48 stickers well this one has 48 this one has 60. i doubt i'll use them all that's the girl in me for my whiteboard calendar i needed a an eraser i've been using paper towels which really doesn't work so i found this it looks like a mouse but it is a whiteboard cleaner the rest i got was junk food i think i'm gonna have a movie night at home so I got some peanut M&M's and I got some almond M&M's and then I got my favorite cookies, the Biscoff cookies. Yeah, we're going to head home. I'll probably watch a movie tonight. I don't know if I bring you guys along for that, but first I need to figure out what I'm going to watch. I need to do a little bit of studying right now. It is 340. So um, we got to get home. Um, I really don't have anything else to do today so i'm gonna go home you guys will see it's 3 40 what are we listening to we need the oil for your love the lord all right y'all that's not that's not that's not that's not that's not show y'all real quick what I picked up out of um, Whole Foods. I wanted some sushi so I got some vegan veggie rolls. I got some popcorn and then I saw these sweet potato puffs made with a blend of rice flour, pea protein, sweet potato flour, and tapioca starch. It is the cinnamon churro plant base. Um, so if you tried this before, put it down in the comment section. The brand is Spudzy. So I'll try to try these on camera for y'all if I remember. Got an avocado roll. A soy tofu salad roll. So that is what that looks like. Of course, chopsticks. 
I'm going to go find a movie to watch. I don't know if I'm going to bring you guys along for that or not, but I'll see you soon. Peace. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl T. I just came in real quick to close out the vlog because I never do. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. It was only for two days, but I did a lot in those two days and I wanted to keep it, keep, keep it. I wanted to keep it 30 minutes or less. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.